In a rare display of solidarity, political leaders across party lines sent out a very strong message to America, some even suggesting that the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh should intervene in this controversy. There are some people who've said we are overreacting and overreaching. But I do believe the general sense in the country and in this House is that what we have done is appropriate in terms of giving a strong, unambiguous, direct message to United States of America. Whatever I believe we were supposed to do, we did immediately. If we appear outside this house, if we appear on television channels, to be divided even on this, even if the division is a very minor one, we will look like a weak nation. Today we speak in one voice on this, and I urge you, request you, and I plead with you, let that voice be one single voice. I will not let you down. It involves the honor of a lady foreign service officer. It has rightly caused concern and anguish in the entire country. And it's a concern that should be reflected by the government and conveyed to the United States at the highest level by the Indian government to the United States government. This is in clear violation of Article 31 of the Vienna Convention. Article 31 very clearly says that there is an immunity granted to a diplomat. और अमेरिकन गवर्नमेंट से बात करके तो जो हर सोर्सेस मुद्दे को लेकर तो हमें हमारी जो विदेश नीति है उसके बारे में भी हमें पुनर्विचार करना होगा अमेरिका के मामले में बिना कोई देरी के हुए माने प्रधानमंत्री जी को सीधा दखल देकर तो जरूर कोई ना कोई कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए। On behalf of the entire country to express our anger, our anguish, to say that we are aghast at this outrage that has been committed against India's sovereignty, and this is something that cannot be tolerated or accepted. There's no need to repeat that this goes against all norms and con international conventions, and this is something that cannot be accepted by any self-respecting sovereign country. We believe that it's time now to codify all privileges India gives US diplomats. We need to codify these privileges we need to share this, these codified privileges which we give them in a statement to Parliament. Then we need to tell Parliament what privileges our Indian diplomats are given to the US. And my understanding is there's a big gap between what privileges we give US diplomats and what privileges our, our diplomats have in the United States.